last time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune. Last night I missed another episode, but I will try to do better in the future. There's a lot going on at the current moment, and running two YouTube channels does take a little bit of time. But never mind that, we need to dive in and talk about these markets because a lot has happened in the last two days. So right away, let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin dumping hard today, dropped from that 58,000 area all the way back down to 50,000. Now at the same time, that was dropping big drop in the stock market from 425 all the way down to 405. Now, I don't know why cryptos are correlating with the stock market. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It's probably because the institutions that have been loading up on Bitcoin for a while now are needing cash. Either they're trying to get some cash back ready for the stock market to rebound or they're trying to get money to catch the big drop down and buy in at cheaper prices or maybe they're loading up on value stocks. That is the only reason why I could see why these two are correlated any at all. These assets should not really be correlated. Even though we dropped today, Bitcoin got bought up off of this 45,000 area pretty hard. So this may end up holding as some new support for Bitcoin as a new higher low, this 45,000 area. Right here, it held up back here and here, and it was resistance back here. So. I'm curious to see if this was just a knee-jerk reaction to the stock market, and I think the stock market was a knee-jerk reaction to the cyber attack on the oil pipeline. Just a little while ago, they announced that they would have that back up and running in a couple of days. So if that is the case, it could be a little sketchy for a little bit, but I expect people to keep on buying back into cryptos and stocks as long as the Federal Reserve is pumping the stock market. I do think we could see a rebound the rest of this week. My only concern is this big drop in both Bitcoin and the SPY shows the weakness of the U.S. economy. If the economy was strong, this oil pipeline would have not been that big a deal and it wouldn't have pricked the stock market like this. You're seeing this inflated bubble and then it gets popped and you see it start to drop really hard. The air is starting to come out of the stock market. And that was just off of that little bit of news. That is not a good sign of anything. That's not a good sign for the economy. It's not a good sign for stocks is a good sign for gold and silver and crypto is a big question mark because like i said i don't understand why cryptos follow the stock market when the market drops we usually see cryptos drop like this that doesn't make much sense to me i expect when people pull their money out of this they're not going to be able to get in real estate because we have one of the biggest house shortages that we have ever had the supply of houses is very low the population is very high so you can't go to real estate unless you want to pay a high price. Bitcoin is around that 45000 but you got to keep in mind it was only 20000 a couple of months ago. So it is a possibility this bull run could be done because if those investors are kind of skittish and this is a big question mark whether or not the cryptos will continue to follow the stock market, they may not want to pay these high prices. But as more investors are realizing that there is going to be this inflation in the market and the markets are getting shaky, they're going they're starting to go into gold and silver a little bit. So if they can't go to the stock market, they can't go to gold and silver because there's a shortage there. We've been talking about the silver shortage on the other channel. Just released a silver intro tips to investing last night on the other channel. So I suspect that a lot of money will move into the cryptos if the stock market drops because there's not a lot of other places that it can go to. Let's give it a day, let's see what happens tomorrow, see if the support does hold up and see if Bitcoin can start turning its way back around. It is still in this downtrend. It has broken the uptrend currently. If it gets back above the uptrend, then I would say the bull run will continue. If it continues to drop, cracks below 45,000, then I'd say the next level of support is right around this 42 to 40,000 area. If that cracks, we could go all the way back down to 20,000, but I don't expect 
Bitcoin to go that low, I think 30,000 is a lot better target. Even Ether, which has been on a nasty bull run, is having some issues. This uptrend here, the sharp uptrend was broken, but Ether is trying to hold this 3,500 area as support. If that support can hold, we could see Ether continue to run. If this all was a knee jerk reaction, the money will flow back into Ethereum pretty quickly. Of course, Litecoin as well has dropped. It was originally making a nice bull run up to that 400, but this big pullback today. But even with this big pullback on these, you can see Litecoin is actually still way above the trend line. It's not even close to the trend line. So I'm still bullish on Litecoin at the moment. Matic, which finally did break up over that dollar area. You can see that downtrend was broken. Matic is still around this 110 area and not doing too bad. Now the majority of the cryptos have been crashing, but there are a few that is still making some new highs. AAVE, I don't know what this one is exactly, but I'm going to just say AVI. Breaking up and hitting 600. There's a pretty strong uptrend on this at the moment. I would expect maybe a rejection tomorrow. I don't think it's quite ready to break out yet. As you can see, this area is holding up as resistance. This does look like a possible big triangle. I think it needs to come down off of this high, make a small U-shape, and then break back above that 575 area, and then get a nice run up over 6. But if everybody is focused on something that is running, this would be the main focus as it's up about 11 12% tonight, and there's a few others that are up a little bit but nothing to really talk about so just be cautious out there if you're day trading or swing trading if you were swing trading through over the last couple of days maybe you got into one of these few that did rip but if not you're like the rest of us and kind of got caught a little bit with our pants down but well, we'll be back tomorrow we'll be live in the morning on the main channel doing the live stock market trading taking a look at the markets in the morning to see which way they're going to go and then we will be back with another daily crypto update on this channel so appreciate everybody joining me as always you guys stay safe out there until next time